a big show, you know, for its day. This was long before CGI, you know, before computer graphics, uh, before uh, steady cams were particularly well known. We, you know, the, the tools, the, the technical tools of filmmaking were uh, are, are far more sophisticated now than they were then. Come on, show me what you got. I'm open. I'm open. But for its day, uh, it was as ambitious a production as. Uh, Virtually any other movie that, we, that came out in that period of time was short of a James Bond movie, which had you know a far larger budget. Desist and leave the swimming area now, Mister. Let's go. The balls, the golf ball thing, it was hilarious, and. Um, I remember I had to watch out not to tread myself on those balls because who knew where they went once they dropped on the floor. Uh, so I had to do a kind of a tango between the balls as I, as I proceeded. There was a, a lot of uh, sort of odd choreography we had to, uh, <coughs> to develop and some of it was done with our people and some of it were done with stunt doubles. And, you know, when you can't control exactly where a ball is going to fall when it comes out of a golf bag. So there were a lot of those, those kinds of uh, uh, sort of elaborate and, and intricate technical issues that we had to deal with. And these days are my fights. I then was able to gyrate with the golf bag, <laughs> which one could substitute as a partner dancer, you see. See you, Nick. I am Larry. That's my nephew, Nick, I was talking about. I'm very, very proud of you. It's the uh, National Police Chiefs Convention, and Eric Lassard, my uncle, played by George Gaines, has been uh, selected as the police officer of the decade. Well, you know, he plays the nice, naive uh, Jimmy Stewart guy and plays him wonderfully. Uh, no, wait, wait, no, wait, whoa, 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 whoa! He and Janet Jones played off of each other wonderfully well and uh, gave a really nice uh, sweetness to the, um, to the part, played a counterpart to the shenanigans of the regular uh, uh, police officers. Guess I did that wrong, huh? I don't know. This technique has its merits. A scene that I'm, I ask about more than the horse scene is the scene on the beach where Matt comes over and writes dork on my chest. And I'm telling you, to this day, I have, I have grown people, you know, PhDs, and they'll stop me in the plane. You still have dork on your chest? And I, I say, well, no, Maybe it finally went away. <laughs> you know, that night where Lance and I are trying to pick up two women in the bar. My hat goes on fire, and he ends up trying to put it out with brandy, and, uh, and it explodes. And I mean, it's, it's right out of a Roadrunner cartoon, and very, very funny. I guess coming up to my room is out of the question. I need a volunteer. <laughs> there was a, um, a judo exhibition. We basically just improvised that. You know, there were a lot of opportunities for improvisation and, and sort of just ad-libbing and creating stuff as we went along. Very good. Thank you. Go. Hi. Here's the rest of your baggage, sir. And somehow if you just say G.W. Bailey and goat, that's funny all by itself. Well, I've, in, in, in these films, I've had scenes with every known animal <laughs> that you can imagine. And a lot of birds crap on me for some reason. Who's so getting? <laughs> I was standing on a dock and I was going to ski. Hey, I've never done this before. This is my first time. And Proctor just thinks he's waving at, the, at him. I don't hear what he says. And he hits the throttle and jerks me right out of the skis into the ocean and he's racing around the ocean, dragging me, and I did all the dragging stuff. It was me flipping around back there, and then all of a sudden I popped up on my bare feet and did barefoot skiing, which was also me. Then at the end, I would drop down and do some like butt skiing, bouncing along, and at the end, I got off 
kind of shot in, in near the beach and got and came trotting out and sure enough my wetsuit had been worn away uh, with two <sighs> holes in my wetsuit. It was another it's high humor. <laughs> I did it! What I enjoyed wonderfully in that it was the, uh, the, the gliding boats. They're marvelous. We hopped islands. There were little islands, and we went straight over them and landed on the other side. It was, it was wonderful. I think my favorite scene is on the airboat when I sing uh, from the Ride of the Valkyries. Yo, do you? Alan Meyerson was on the uh, airboat with me, and he was laughing so hard he almost fell off. And we, I did, both of us. The camera operator and I were pulling him back on. I thought it was great. I thought it was really funny, so I said, do that. You know, I, I had my doubts about doing that. You know, and, and uh, but they had it all locked off. It's not the kind of spooky um, uh, swamp stuff that you see in horror movies. It, it's, uh, but it is where alligators and snakes and uh, all kinds of uh, interesting creatures live. It was really an adventure, and it was fun to be out there. Uncle Eric, are you all right? This is awesome. It's the best precision demonstration in history. Uncle Eric, those are real crooks. Oh, well. In that case, oh. nothing personal, just business. And once a day, the cast of Police Academy has saved the day. <laughs>